Hasty, the man, the myth, the legend. I have countless of videos where I take this incredibly powerful Viking ruler and conquer all over the world. But what if instead of focusing on just his life, we played his entire dynasty? From the very start in 867, all the way to the end in 1453. One dynasty, one legacy, and a lot of Viking adventures. With a long line of rulers and kings that can all trace their lineage back to the man himself. My name is Koifish, and this is the second episode of the Hastin Saga. Today, we are playing as Ragnar, the firstborn son and true heir of Hastin himself. A great warrior, just like his father, but with even greater ambition. His goal is to unify the British Isles under one Hastinian rule. Will Ragnar be able to fulfill his goal? Or will the Hastin dynasty disappear into the mist of history? Oh, and it would be amazing if you could leave a subscribe. Ragnar is pointing straight at the button. You can't miss it. It is said that everyone that subscribes within the next one year will get a guaranteed spot in Valhalla or, even better, a gift card for Hastings gift shop. But before we begin, this video is sponsored by Warhaven, the free-to-play PvP medieval fantasy combat game, where two teams of up to 12 players each go head-to-head -head in fast-paced melee combat. With six different classes to play as, and a combat system that is easy and fun to learn, but hard to master, Warhaven has something for every player. Squad up with friends and work together as a team to dominate the battlefield, or take your own initiative and fend off the enemies alone. I personally love to play this game with my friend Simo. Almost got him. Got him. Got him. They might need help. I got you, man. Got him. Oh. The world of Warhaven blends the medieval and the modern to create a truly unique fantasy world. If you enjoy playing team play PvP with swords instead of guns, this is the game for you. And the best part, it's free to play. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to wishlist now on Steam. The game releases September 20th at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time and I will personally be playing on launch. So I hope to meet you on the battlefield. May the best warrior win. All right, the Norse culture is not doing it for us anymore. We're sharing it with all of these chumps, like King Bjorn, namesake and great grandson of my old homie, Bjorn Ironside, as well as <laughs> Freerek Bagsek, son. Listen, if I wanted to have Bagsek, I would go to Cambridge, okay? Get out of here, you one-eyed goofball. That means that we could divert your culture to create a new one. Now the benefits of this is that the innovations, aka the technology, is sort of tied to the overall development of one culture. And as we're sharing with a lot of Norsemen that happen to have, yeah, close your eyes for this one. I mean, open them, otherwise you can't see. Compared to my insane 23 development. Yeah, I'm thinking we've sort of grown out of these Viking shoes. I'm going to create the Hastinian culture, where we move our ethos from bellicose, that of war, to bureaucratic, that of lifestyle experience, cultural fascination, and development, as well as taking out the Scandinavian electic. And uh, whoa, that's a bit controversial. A lot of people really like Scandinavian electic, but me, I don't. I don't aim to have a huge blob kingdom. I'm fine with succession splitting it up, so that the Hastin dynasty rules, not just the current ruling Hastin. So we'll change that out with By the Sword. And as I hinted at the end of the last episode, by the sword puts no limit to the amount of kingdom level holy wars that I can declare, as well as those causes bellies requiring one level less of devotion to declare. This means that the Hastin dynasty and all the Hastinians coming after this will be insanely warlike in the ways of the sword. Other than that, we keep it just as is. Diverge the culture. We are the Hastinian divergence to a new age to a new era, to a new people. That means that innovations will go a whole lot quicker. For example, to just get onagers, it will only take 28 years. That sounds like a whole lot, but for the Norse, it's going to take a whole lot more. Now we could promote our culture to the Cumbrians, to the Norsemen and the Irish, but I don't see the point. That's just going to dilute the amount of areas. For example, this is how it works. The average development of the Hastinian counties is pretty darn high, meaning it's gonna go a lot quicker. This also means that once our faith is reformed in a way where we can do holy wars for kingdoms, we will be able to push massive claims. But for now, we're going to take our massive development and huge troops and start creating some chaos. We need to get some more castles. And I happen to know a place that has a bunch of them. The Welsh lands. Plenty feudal rule, but barely anyone to defend them. Prince Elisad Ab Anarviel. That's not a real name. You're just making that up. Aren't all names made up, Corfish? 
Well, as soon as I have enough prestige as I just formed the culture, <laughs> we'll, we'll conquer it. I'll also create my first accolade. He's the first of the hasty axemen. Very cool. Now, to earn extra prestige, what we can do is raise everyone as raiders and go off to earn plenty of gold. We also gain amazing amounts of gold and prestige from ransoming, as our great dynasty has some great legacies. Practice kidnappers, gold from ransoms plus 50%, and gaining prestige when ransoming prisoners equal to the amount of gold. We're also more likely to imprison characters. Very cool. A prisoner-based economy is a good economy. Isn't that right, America? <laughs> Look at all this plunder. And I even captured the king of Aquitaine. Hello there, Pierre. How are you doing, man? Let's ransom you back for a whopping 279 gold. Wonderful. Damn, raiding is kind of broken. Not gonna lie. They call me the cruel? Why? I'm a good guy. I'm a cool guy. I, I just get a bit excited when I raid sometimes. It's normal. We're also going to look for men that are, that are capable of fighting in our line. We also have Tike, who is a poet. I'll recruit him just so he can recite me poetry. Imagine being kidnapped from your homeland and a man tells you, Recite me a poem or I'll slice your balls off. And you're like, what do you do on the spot? I'll tell you, you do a limerick. There once was a man so brave who fought every night and knave. Though he was assured to fight for a lord, it was still the pie that he craved. See, uh, that's uh, sort of a limerick. Uh, maybe, by some standards, by Norse standards, it's a limerick. Now, let's capture Gwyneth. We're going to raise all of her troops, which is quite a lot. And like goddamn space marines, we're gonna land on them. Now, this is what I call a Viking invasion. We'll also slightly up our spending, so that we can reach a decent level of grandeur. We've conquered a lot of his lands. We've done it. We've taken the principality of Gwyneth, giving me a bunch of cool titles. All of these being feudal holdings that I can rule as they are castles. And of course, we better raise a runestone. These places have names that are impossible to pronounce. Let's make them a bit more Norse. This is Merion Runa with the city, not Harlek, but Harlaus. This is Inusmon. No, this is uh, Ingling Rune with the great city of Aber, Aberfather. What is this? Dude, I'm doing them a service. Instead of Dinbyk, it's Dinbyn. There we go. Properly Norsified. Now I can pronounce all of this. Wonderful. I just destroyed every proof of this culture. Let's do it even more by promoting our culture and making this area Hastinian. We're also an insane fighter. So we're going to challenge anyone for gold. Listen, bro, I'm just fighting criminals over here. Let the best man win. Well, I won and that gives me a bunch of gold. I can pour a lot of gold into these holdings as I'm rather rich, but they seem to be rather well developed. Good job on the Welsh, but I'm being raided by Scotland. Scotland, you, you piss. Raised armies, we will crush him. No one raids me and gets away with it. Hand back that gold. Wow, how rude of him to think he could waltz in here and just steal my land. Well, what we need now is to reform our religion. That way we will be able to pull off holy wars, as currently I can't. So we're going to get some lovely colonies. I'm going to seize the Jaldum of Upland as well as the Jordan of Trendalog. And if that wasn't enough, I'm also stealing Jorvik. So we raise the lads, and we head straight over to Jorvik. And these new alliances will serve me well. Oh yeah, we caught them. Boom, Jorvik has been seized. Thank you very much. Now get on the boat, we're heading over to Sweden. But first, pit stop in Trendalog. Now we usurp this holding, and grant it to someone very important. Hey, we can vassalize some people. Who? the man of Cumberland and the man of Lancashire. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll take it. Damn, we're really sieging down the Swede here. There we go. Upland is ours. Now this is a great holding to have, so I'll feudalize it. It's very expensive, but I aim to keep this one. Boom, very good. And force the man to disband the troops and grant these holdings to my half-brother, who also needs to be legitimized. All right, we now have all we need to reform the religion. All but the piety needed. Damn, it's gonna be a bit more expensive now. We've also sadly lost a lot of our pirate hordes. They're not really replenishing. But hey, we use them for a good thing. From here, we'll be able to pull off a lot of greatness. By sacrificing these prisoners, we'll be able to get a whole lot of piety. Damn, as if conquering his area wasn't enough. Now I'm literally killing all of his children, including his gosh darn heir. But it's so much piety, I have to do it. I'm certainly not making any friends by doing this, but I am gaining a lot of piety. Great, now we're closer to doing it. We're going to need a bit more, however. And I know exactly how to get that. Let's hold a great pilgrimage. We'll go all the way to Upland, the area we just conquered. And we'll avoid land as much as possible by going this route. Off we go. Don't mind me, you sailing through a gosh darn warm zone. <laughs> I also get another dynasty legacy, making a killing. 
This increases the fatal casualties of our enemies, but also we get 5 gold per 100 men we kill. That is huge. We have now arrived. Wonderful. And we earn a whole lot more. We now raise our troops again. We just need to raid a little bit more. I'm thinking we return to our favorite spot of Aquitaine. It was so fun last time. I just want to go back there again. But what's this? The king of Sweden wants to fight me? A battle to the death? Uh, let's do it. I am still a viking, you know. And a berserker. I win. The king of Sweden is dead. You shouldn't have tried it. Justice is served. Bro, I am literally infirm. They wheel me in the wheelchair. And I'm still out here raiding. Tie me to the catapult and send me over the wall. Now what we're actually raiding for is prisoners. As we can execute them and their piety. We also got a chest, which is wonderful because we're gonna die one day and they can stuff me in it. <laughs> oh, to heck with this small raiding. I'm gonna steal the Pope. 150 gold for this little boy. But oh man, he's worth so much more in piety. <laughs> oh well, ransom him back. That's too cruel even for me. Now let's steal the Pope. Hello, Pope. I'm here to whisk you away on a whimsical adventure. Not as many prisoners as I would have wanted, but still, a fair bit of prestige. And we have a crown to put on her head. Nice. Well, with this money, we can go on a beautiful pilgrimage. I'm thinking we're gonna go big or go home. We're gonna go to Kiev. We need forest guides, and we need mercenary guards to make the trip safer. We have arrived, and it was a long damn trip. Well, I don't know if going all this way was worth it, but now, <laughs> now the sun wants to fight me as well. Bro, even in my weakened state, I will kill you. This is just sad. My name is Sune Erik Gerson. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Bro, get out of here. God damn it, this is just sad. This is just so sad, bro. Stop. Well, luckily, the new king of Sweden... Hey, you wanna fight me as well, bro? You wanna fight me as well? You wanna fight, bro? Alfer, why is my heir in prison? No, no. You, you Frisian gosh darn woman. You took my son. Fine. Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm busy here doing the pilgrimage and, and they steal my kid! Damn, 300 gold just because I was busy not protecting my area. Oh well, we have returned. A few hundred pilgrimages later and a bunch of people sacrificed to the old gods, it is time to reform the author to faith. I'm thinking we're gonna go with this, ancestor worship. Because after all, it is a dynasty playthrough and who else to be worshipped but the original, Hastin himself, warmonger. Because god damn it, we need to keep fighting. Bloot. Because getting that extra pity from executions is really strong. But our faith will be fundamentalist. Conversions shall happen swiftly and no other faith shall be tolerated. And of course, I am the leader of the faith after all. Being able to declare where the great holy wars go is really important. We'll keep concubines, we're always allowed to be divorced, and marrying cousins, just like Alabama, totally normal. But we will make male adultery accepted. The Hastings dynasty needs to grow. And a farmer that just puts his seed into the ground in one plot will never have a bountiful harvest. That's messed up, Koifish. I know it's just a video game. <laughs> All right, let's make the new and reformed Asa True Faith. Let's go! The Odin favors us. And even better, we can now do holy wars for kingdoms and just completely rush our way through conquering everything we want. You may only attempt one holy war against a kingdom tier title per lifetime. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. My culture, by the sword, lets me do it more times. Hopefully, that still works. Especially since Ireland is united here. Would be a shame if uh, the Hastinians took it over, considering they're insular Christians. And to help us spread the religion, we have Jarl Ingvar, this absolute shad who rules Ireland. Very good, very powerful, very great. I can now die knowing I did something wonderful. So what better place to try attacking than Ireland? We'll raise all of our troops and we'll simply flood in. The Irish shall know their place underneath my boot in this video game. God damn it, I don't want the IRA to come after me. <laughs> well, uh, that's probably the quickest war I've ever fought. We can enforce the mats. Hey, Ireland! And we have a bunch of cool titles. We should probably give these away. One of my sons rules the south. My beloved vassal already rules enough as is, so that was a lie that I promised him land. <laughs> it goes to my sons, of course. Now to check if this actually works like it's supposed to do. Oh yeah, I can totally just do more kingdom wars. We are unstoppable. England is weak and pitiful, so we'll seize all of their southern lands. And while we do that, we'll also seize all of Scotland. Hello, my British friends. It is I, the Vikings that are your neighbors. We've discovered that you can totally use religion to justify war. Probably the strongest technology known to man. Oy! 
But alas, no man lives forever. And drinking himself to death, he now leaves the land over. To not order the Fylker haste in two Ragnarsson. And that puts us in a bit of an odd situation. As Ireland has become independent. Under King Bui Ragnarsson. Well King Bui, best of luck ruling the Irish. I will come back and conquer your lands unless you're good enough to rule them. We're still decent in the ways of fighting. And our youthful vigor at the age of 20 will take us very very far. We're also married to Count Vaiba who is absolutely very smart. My Michael Jackson looking half brother took some of the land that should belong to me here. But that's fine, I'm still holding firmly. Wow, it's good to see that Hastin is back. Well, that's a problem. The Scotsmen are taking Strathclyde. I won't let them. I'll call in my house members. Well, ring the bells of doom, we have to destroy our enemies. Offensive wars and all that, but destroying the Scotsmen before they destroy us? We have to do it. And we got a son! Of course I'll name him after my dad. This is Prince Ragnar Hastinson, who is both quick and handsome. Shall be educated by my wife, Count Viba, Queen Viba, as she's intelligent and has decent traits. I'm sure she'll make a great educator. Now come here, you silly Scotsman. But if that wasn't enough, my cousin Svarvarsson is coming from Iceland, which has united to take over the Isles. Stop it. Stop it right now. We repel the Scotsmen. Never return. Now to destroy the Icelanders. The Icelanders I just want to repel. I don't have to completely humiliate them. I'll come back for them later. Haha, call him. And we got the Iceland banner. Burn it and have a white piece with him. Stop it, you crump. I have to kill the Englishmen. You're interfering with that. And I just got back most of Ireland. <laughs> I won't say no to that. I'll give it to my cousin. Why not? It's absolute utter chaos. And that's the way I like it. God damn it, these battles are tense. Where's our allies? And I chopped off my leg. Well, uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'm dying. I, I was supposed to be this epic ruler that would rule for, for a long time. But right now, it's looking like I'm about to kick the bucket. My arm is defeated and, and no. That's it. Surrender to the English. We will return one day. But for now, we need to lick our wounds. Literally, I think I'm about to die. No, more wars. We'll have to win this by calling in a proper alliance. Well, that ruling was rather short. Hastin too, kicked the bucket, got his hand chopped off in England and promptly left. Leaving the throne for none other than Fylke Ragnar Hastinson, the second. With the realm just as confusing as it always been, this little boy stands in front of a huge challenge. He needs to rule where his father could not. We do have our lovely mother to teach us things. But the world is big and dangerous and very very scary. So we need to fend off these wars easily, which we have done. And now, all the focus will be on declaring our realm and ruling it fairly. Well, fairly well I'd hope. We can get a bunch of gold by ransoming off these counts. And we now have a wonderful decision we can take to meet peers. This is the best way to get a bunch of wonderful traits early. Invite all your fellow kids, your kinsmen, and have a good old fashioned play date. But my mother is trying to wrest control of the realm from me. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. But getting limited crown authority, that could be great. Accept. I like how everyone has to like beg a child to ransom their relatives. I've just inherited even more of Ireland. Goofy. They call it a succession, but they never succeed. Huge L for that. Scotland is weaker than ever. So I think it's time we do something great with our rule. We only need a bit more piety, being a devoted servant. So as soon as we're off the age, we'll go and we'll claim it. But first, I'm gonna meet some peers. And while we wait, <laughs> you know it. We raid with the help of Vaiba, my uh, super cool mother. Filkir Ragnar Hastinson II has come of age. Which is funny because my father was Hastin Ragnarsson and his father was Ragnar Hastinson and, and the other ones Hastin. We're sort of just alternating between us. But we did get a pretty decent education. We're a military engineer, we're quick, we're handsome and we're ready to rumble. Our traits leave somewhat to be desired. Paranoid is decent at protecting yourself from schemes, but you gain a whole lot of stress. We did get ambitious, which also gets even more stress, as well as shy, which leads to a lot of stress. Something tells me that Fylki Ragnar will live a very stressful life, unless we take action to avoid that. First could be to dismiss my entrenched regency of my mother. I could use prestige, that's probably what I'll do. I'll save on the money. This is kind of funny because I am the head of faith, meaning I pay gold to myself, meaning I lose gold. Who got the gold? I don't know, but I am fighting Aquitaine. I'm going to go into strategy focus as I want to be able to siege things faster. 
Now, my goal is just to white piece this man. I have no intention of actually fighting and winning. Aquitaine can go suck it. I don't know why they're even attacking me. They're not even supposed to have land here. We'll start moving on them and hopefully we'll be able to best them off. And we'll declare this holy war nullified. Offer white piece. Very good. Very great. Now, Scotland is as weak as ever. And I can declare entire kingdom wars without any repercussions. But what I need is a one more level of piety. We're going to execute a bunch of people. This way, we're gaining a whole lot of piety really quickly. We'll then go on a blessed pilgrimage. All right, that puts us in a very good position. We pick up Bellum Justum to reduce the cost of declaring wars. And then we'll simply seize all of Scotland. Hello, Scotsmen. Do not interfere. You are being liberated. We can also increase the trade port building. And because we have the stolen city modifier, this costs nothing and takes two months. That's so quick. Hand over Scotland and no one gets hurt. That's right, I'm robbing Scotland. And I took the Stone of Scone! <gasps> it's the one! A simple seat of red sandstone on which all monarchs of Alba have been crowned since King Kenneth. I'm rightful ruler of Scotland! It was meant to be. I'm glad they could all come to their senses. And my wife is pregnant? Let's go! Fingers crossed is a goddamn genius. And just like that, we've seized all of Scotland. Very nice! And of course, what else but to carve a runestone about how I destroyed the Scottish woman and put it in Gauri. <laughs> there you go, my holdings have grown. Wonderful. And you know what? I think it's high time we completely unify the entire isle. Since nothing is stopping me from declaring yet another holy war, except this Holland guy. Bro, you're supposed to be Danish. Get out of here. <gasps> the Danes are Catholics? Oh my lord. The disgrace. What do we need to actually form the massive empire of Britannia? Or Hastania, as I'm gonna call it. A bit more land, two more titles, and a bunch of gold. That's totally easy to get. But first, let's steal all of England. I tried this before, it didn't work. I'm trying it again. But first, we're going to end the entrenched regency by offering her a bit of pity. Well, <laughs> our holy order just got crumped. That's sad to see. But I'm positive for this war. I think we'll be able to pull this off. This goat-looking populist... He's trying to take back Scotland. Yeah, we'll face off against them, I guess. How strong are they? Oh, oh, oh. They're very strong. <laughs> well, I shall focus on this war first and get completed ruin. Gosh darn it, that's not good. And we just unlocked the last one. No quarter. Daily siege progress, 25%. As well as enemy counties losing substantial control when occupied. Wonderful. The Hastings dynasty has completed the pillage legacy. We're now the best raiders in the business. Boom! That's the Catholics dealt with. Thank God. And not your God, though. And we siege so much faster. And we can now do great holy wars. <gasps> Tear is with us. No! We got it into an ambush in Staffordshire. Oh, heck. Heck in a handbasket. These Englishmen are putting up quite the fight. And another revolt in Scotland. I can't, I can't take this. Ha Stop! Stop right now! And now the... The Norse have split into being Danes, Swedes, and Norwegians? Am I the last? There's no more Norsemen! God damn it! Truly the darkest timeline. We're just gonna keep crushing them, come here! And the second Scots Catholic uprising dealt with. Oh my lord, it's all too much! Why is Italy here? Why is Italy ruled by a giant? And I'm now possessed. Yeah, possessed. But I don't possess the ability to take over England. Tell you what. Ugh, white peace it is. England is impossible to conquer. The Englishmen may keep the realm for a bit longer. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Gosh darn it. I mean, our realm is very strong, don't get me wrong, but that is a hard blow to morale. Tell you what, you know what I need in times of these? Will help my friends by conquering Denmark. Yeah, that will put me in a better mood. We'll rapidly seize this holding. <laughs> Steal a tapestry, as well as the goddamn Queen Alix, and we'll crash down and we'll attack these bastards. The English are back! And we're trying to take Jorvik! That's it! Everyone, help! I'm gonna need more alliances. We're doing a sneak on his capital to hopefully catch someone important. A little sneak siege. We're aiming for a white piece. We knock him out that early, we're all set. 21% should be. Oh! Almost enough. So let's face them in combat. It's incredibly close. But alas, the reinforcements, they're enough to beat us back. Where's the Bjarmians? I'll keep sneaking these sieges. As long as they don't take my beloved island. And we head back as soon as they come. Scurrying away like little mice. No, my army. It got caught. The Battle of Pool. No. To surrender now would be laying down 
and offering your enemy Jorvik like lap dogs. But we're not lap dogs. We're war dogs. Raise every troop we have and call up the special number. We're getting the mercenaries back together. Siege back the holdings. Jorvik is rightful Hastinian claim. Get out of here. Oh, that could have gone worse. And we need to retaliate swiftly. If they thought they could attack us, I will attack them. Give me England. The great counteroffensive. Move it, you dogs. Crushing defeat. Perfect. But, oh my god. How many troops is that? 14,000. Who is this? No. A Norman. Murder him. Anything it takes, just, just get him out of the war. Yeah, special soldiers. They should, they should drop up upon succession. We need to slay this man. Jarl Thorstein is a fake Hastin impersonator. That's not looking too good. We could try to oppose them, but that's too many soldiers. To hell with it. We'll crush them. Increase the ramming speed. We will win. Well, we got completely decimated, which is a big problem. Why can't I conquer England? It's like the golden goose that I can't get. All right. Hopefully, if we kill him, his troops will be nullified. It worked. It worked. Crush him! They left! It, it's just it's just him left! All his troops just abandoned him! Rush! Rush in! The Battle of Norwich! No! But we're, we're still defeated! God damn it, I'm gonna murder him as well! We have a house feud! My nemesis! King Alfric! Ailfric! <laughs> Whatever your name is, I hate you! So much! And they call me the Holy! Because I'm full of holes from all the battles and, and, and God talks to me! That's it! We're returning! We strike again, over and over and over again. We die, we fight, we die again. We're, we're winning, we're winning. Now we replenish some of our supply and we start sieging. And here comes the Eastlanders. But England has recuperated again and gotten vile mercenaries. We're so close. Oh my God, I've never had a war. That is this annoying. It takes this long to fight. England is ours. <laughs> Let's go! I can't believe that. I was pro that's probably one of the most epic battles I've ever had. But look at what it cost me. Oh, I'm about to die of stress, bro. Filke Ragnar, you you're about to keel over. Well, let's quickly raise a runestone in Jura B. <laughs> oh my lord, look at these areas we've just conquered. Strong rich holdings. That's it. That's what it's all about. The beautiful heartlands of England. We can make some really strong vassals here. Oh my god, John Hastings to the handsome, my brother. Sheesh! You truly are the handsome. Hey, yeah, you're still a Jarl in my eyes, all right? We just grew a whole lot. Damn. But I fear that this stress is gonna get to me. Like, bad. I'm thinking I hold court quickly. Anything that's gonna de-stress me? Please? Please? <laughs> Please de-stress now? We need to go into medicine focus because my guy is about to hacking implode, man. We can't seclude ourselves until next year. What am I? I'm paranoid, I'm ambitious, and I'm shy. Damn, the stress got to me. I'm gonna die. No. Oh, thank God. The mental break level wasn't the one that's like, you completely die. Oh, I'm just gonna completely isolate myself. And hopefully, I'll be able to survive. There we go. Oh, the biggest fear I had was myself in this moment. And even though I was just in an insane war, I think I could easily conquer waves. Let's do it. Raise the lads, get the Holy Order for no cost, and start conquering the Welshmen. Maybe the real Joms Vikings were the friends who made along the way. Well, uh, it's about to go downhill again. My son just died. He was torn apart by a wolf. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die from stress. For the love of god, let me... Let me relax. And the Welsh have been conquered. Nice. Not that I need more quarrelsome subjects, but uh, hey, I'll, I'll stick to it. I'll stick to it. Oh, thank the Lord. Damn. Man in the Isles is starting to just be the British Isles. I can sort of respect that. King Ailfric is totally trying to kill me. I'll fight him. Come here. You're a fake in a fraud. I win. He's wounded. I should serve you right for trying to schmunk me. You schmunk. I hope you die from your wounds. Violently. And now over here in Aquitaine raiding. You know, really getting my anger out. Someone in Hampshire tried to kill me. Yeah, who who could it have been, huh? Who could it have been? Who could it have been? As soon as I get the gold from this raiding, I'm literally gonna seize your lands, bro. Pipe down. Oh, they're trying to raid down my island? Please tell me I can get there in time. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, with barely a minute to spare, huh? Like living on the edge. I also like fighting like this because I just get gold from it. It's very profitable. God bless sieging this fast, huh? I am doing what my great-great-grandfather couldn't. I'm raiding Constantinople! <laughs> Boom! 
and I captured a mighty boar hide and the goddamn princess. How many troops do you even have, huh? I bet we could raid a bit more. Hand over your gold, you silly Greeks. A solid 700 gold. The only downside is that it's quite far away from home. We should set up like a raiding post here on Sardinia. It's like a shed where we leave stuff we raid. Time to make a small deposit of 750 gold. With this money, we're almost ready to do our goal. We just need a few more holdings. And I happen to know exactly who I want to take out. I will get my vengeance on you. Hand over your entire kingdom of Vesex. Now! Go, go, go! Battle of England 2, Electric Boogaloo! Huzzah! And we got the air! This is a blessed war! The gods smile upon us! And in true fashion, I am Ragnar, this is Hastin Ragnarsson, and his son and heir is Ragnar Hastinson. It just alternates. It's so good. Blessed. And we've done it. We've captured the king. Alfred the Proud. I'm gonna torture him before I let him go. <laughs> oh, goodbye, goodbye. You're no king, no crown, no women. <laughs> I banished him. He's literally a little, he's a little crumb. He's a little crump and he lives there. <laughs> we raise a runestone in Gloucestershire. And before it is time for me to form the empire. Alas, I must do what every proper koi fish dynasty series has to do. <clears throat> Please, lower your volume just a tad bit. He's a saint! <laughs> saint Tasting! Saint Tasting! Filker Ragnar the Holy. Truly living up to his name and giving us even more renown to our dynasty as we just consecrated the bloodline, making us the savior and everyone coming after us with divine blood. Now it's time to pick our next dynasty legacy. Now we're far into pillage, so what should we do next? We could go into House of Warriors and make ourselves even stronger when it comes to fighting. This would be pretty good and it gives us private army, letting all of our house members recruit house guards which is a really strong retinue that costs barely any maintenance. But no, we will instead go into kin with bounteous loins, making our dynasty grow even stronger and more numerous. It is time, usurping the crown of Vesex, we can now form the Empire of Britannia! And of course the Pope throws a hissy fit because he's like, bro, bro, England, you fumbled the bag! But alas, here we stand. As the Filky Ragnar, son of Haste in the second, grandson of Filky Ragnar the first, great grandson of King Haste in the original. But first, we must do what is right. We rule Hastinia! Truly the best timeline. And we may even take King Stula, my great ally, offer him a concubine and a gift of gold, and he may join as a vassal of our glorious Hastinian Empire. And with that, we will end the second episode of the Hastian Dynasty Saga. And oh my lord, what a trip it's been. We have gone to a few rulers, and we have fought many a battles. But here we are, as Filkil Ragnar, the saint, the emperor. And now, it is time for us to spread as a red scourge all across Europe. And my sights are set on West Francia, on Brittany, on Italy, and all of Europe. As this is more and more leading into a world conquest. Now if that's something you want to see, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this video, and comment down below. Hey Steen! And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay viking my dudes. Yeet.